Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. In today's video, well, as you guessed, more plans. Um, I'm actually going to be trying something similar to a previous video, but with a twist. With a twist! So, I still have, obviously, the reusable burpee seed starter trays. And uh, I have some seeds that I collected from one of my milkweed plants. And, uh, well, I want to see if I can grow some more little seedlings. Uh, so, it's going to be similar, different seeds. Um, but let's do it. Let's see if we can get, get some more milkweed out there. Because remember, butterflies love milkweed. Especially monarchs. And we need to save the monarchs. I don't, it doesn't matter whether you are in an apartment, a house, anywhere. If you can grow milkweed, there's various varieties. Um, I've shown butterfly weed on my channel before. Uh, these particular ones are tropical milkweed. Um, I know some people have some issues with that. Um, but there's also swamp milkweed. There's a, there's a white one, which I believe is a swamp milkweed. There's a purple. There's various colors. Um... But milkweed is one of the best things you can do for butterflies, especially monarchs. Um, anything you can do for the for the butterflies, the bees, the birds, any sort of pollinators, it, it's a great thing to do for nature. Grow the plants that, well, keep the world running and keep us going. Um, save the monarchs. Plant milkweed. All right. Let's get this going. All right. So I have the burpee seed starter trays. Again, anyone who's seen previous videos, I can't fully recommend these. There will be a link because, you know, I just can't fully recommend them because of the issues I had with them. They're working for the ones that I have. They're working. So if you can find them not broken, get them, use them. They're great. Um, I really do like the little squishy bottom part. <laughs> it does make getting the little seed plugs out way easier um durability has actually been a little better than i thought um it was just the ordering process was a hassle um if you can find them in store get them if you can use the link in the description do that uh just know that well sometimes things happen uh so basically we fill this up with dirt and we put the seeds so all I did was I collected seeds from my plant outside. It had gone to seed. Uh, it was originally bought at a Houston Garden Center, if I remember correctly. And uh, when it went to seed, and it has these little cotton fiber-like things that help it float on the air to disperse. And I collected a whole bunch of them. And I want to see if I can get them to grow. Because, uh, obviously, having more of those is better. Um, so, it's just, I just collected seeds, put them in a Ziploc baggie, and been waiting to, to plant them. So, let's try it. I did put some of them outside already. Um, obviously, with all the other seeds, I don't know if they're growing or not. Uh, but this is a bit more of a controlled way to see if they grow. And, uh, as with previous experiments with uh, the seed starter tray... I'll be putting it on a heat source. Seemed to work just a little bit better and give better results. So, all right, here we go. And obviously trying to do this and not make a mess. Well, you're gonna make a mess. Just clean it up afterwards. <laughs> Ah, 
Alright. So it's filled with dirt. Um, now, I've tried a couple of different ways before with these. Um, now that I've dealt with these seed trays a couple of times. If you go to water it, the dirt's going to float. Um, so, like, if, if you pour the water in the tray and then set the tray down, the dirt's going to float and it's going to cause problems. Uh, so basically what you have to do is water it, let it soak for a little bit, not too terribly long, and uh, go from there. So, I'm going to go do that real quick. And, uh, of course, for you, it's already done. God, I hope that edit came out good. Let me know. I mean, I'll know in editing, but I don't know right now. Um, so anyway, got uh, the soil properly, uh, rather not really say that word. Uh, let's just say it's got plenty of water. Plenty of moisture. That works. Um, now we're going to take our seeds. Uh, and again, my personal view is there's nothing in nature going around setting everything at a certain depth and all that. Um, some people may say, oh, we'll only put one seed per cell. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a take probably most of the seeds I have in here to give a better chance of them growing. Um, if they all grow, great! If only a couple of them grow, good. If none of them grow, well, that's part of life. That's part of the experiment, right? Um, let's get seeds put in. Alright. And like I said, most time I'm just going to take a couple of seeds, if I can get fat little fingers to grab onto them. I hope none of those little, well, now I have little cotton pieces floating around everywhere. And, uh, <laughs> if, if the plant starts growing in the cracks of the wall, well, uh, anyway, just put a couple of seeds in. Dampen them down, cover them up a little bit good soil contact. That's always key. Alrighty. We'll just pinch a couple more here. And I put them down in there. Cover them up. And we're good. Right? And repeat the process until your seeds are gone. I do want to have enough for every cell, so let's just grab just a few here and put in this one. Alright. Make sure they're not stuck to my finger. Alright. Here. We're just gonna make sure we got. That's four down. Now, unfortunately, I thought I had a, I would have enough seeds. So now I've got to be a little bit more sparingly. But that's all right. Again, part of the process, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna take a couple here, and I'm just gonna drop them on top, kind of like I did in a previous video. I just want to see if the the soil contact and them being buried plays much of a role in success. Before it didn't really matter, so let's see if it does here. Because let's face it, when they disperse in nature, they're just falling and they're landing gently on the dirt. They're not being... I mean, I guess wild animals and stuff would trample them a little bit, but I don't think to the extent of 
burying them. And that's always been my thing. I, I really rather mimic nature as much as possible with this. But I also want to see what works best, which is part of experimentation. So, there we go. All right, make sure no seeds left in the bag. I don't, hopefully none of them flew around the room. Uh, no seeds stuck to my fingers. Well, that's putting seeds in the seed starting tray. Um, now, I'm going to go put it on a heating source, i.e. my aquarium line. And here it is on my aquarium line. Uh, it produces a decent amount of heat. It worked for the last time. So these, the seeds, were more buried in. These four, the seeds were more placed on top. Let's see if that makes a difference. Uh, as you can see, got just a, so far just a couple of little little sprouts nothing else really going on yet oh looks like we got looks like we got one that's starting there all right hopefully we get some nice plants out of this we have some nice little spriggies little sprouts a couple of squares that aren't, aren't doing anything I'm debating on whether or not to move this over to the windowsill I may try to give it another week here um, and that way they can get some sunlight and grow and everything I just was hoping that I would have more that would sprout but that's part of experiments do a little bit and you learn a little bit all right I ended up well, obviously I moved it over to the windowsill uh, these were starting to get their first leaves and I wanted to make sure they could get a decent amount of light some of them, as you can tell here, still have the little seed husks stuck to them. Focus. I think that one has like little air roots coming out of it, which is kind of interesting. But then after I stuck it over here, uh, which was a few days ago, uh, got another little sprout. So, so far nothing in about what, what is that, four of them? One. Two, three, four, yeah, yeah, I can count. Yay! Um, anyway, I still don't have really a whole lot that have gone, that have sprouted. So, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I just collected the seeds too early, but again, that's part of the experiment. And, uh, yeah, I, I put them over in the windowsill and, uh, have them uh, turned around a little bit they had been sitting here for a little bit and then uh, they were as you can tell they're they're kind of angling because that, that they were facing the window that way so I've turned it around to hopefully stretch them back out the other way as you can tell put in water filled up the little basin in there well not filled it up but see if we can get more to sprout and keep these alive um, I spun it around again because they were all leaning and getting a little leggy. So, spun around trying to keep the moisture level right. I actually ended up having uh, a couple of them sprout more. So, that's good. Some of the cells still didn't do anything. But, uh, after this one, I will probably... Uh, let them sit in here for longer than I did on the previous ones and I will just uh, When I think they're ready 
put them in a container. That's the great thing with experimenting with plants. If you think something's going to work better, try it. It may work better, it may not, but you're learning something. Learn something new every day, or at least try to. Grow the plants that you like. Doesn't matter if it's one little plant on a windowsill or a yard converted to a forest. Grow some plants. Better the environment. And if you're the type that you don't like plants, that's fine. Not everybody can. Not everybody should. But give it a try. Get your hands in the dirt. Thank you for watching Pi. Be smart. Stay safe. Have fun. Hopefully one day it'll be more than just plant videos. We'll see.